everyone, this is Christy from MyScrapbookEvolution.com and today I am very excited because I'm joining in a collaboration across YouTube with many wonderful crafters from around the world. We're celebrating May flowers. I'm coming to you with some tips for using flowers on scrapbook layouts featuring photos of boys. And you're going to see a lot of layouts of my son, but you could definitely use these tips whether you're scrapbooking about a boyfriend, a husband, an uncle, your grandfather, or just a friend of yours. There are a few main reasons why I like using flowers on my scrapbook layouts. I just like them, first of all, and second of all, I feel like they add a lot of texture and dimension to a scrapbook layout. It's an easy way to add them. I also find that flowers are a wonderful motif. They symbolize various things, and you can use that to your advantage to support your scrapbook storytelling. Flowers also have a tendency to soften a page, and we're going to see some examples of these things today. Let's take a look at some different scrapbook layouts that I'm going to share with you. On this first layout, I created a page about summer and how my son is a child born at the end of summer. I used a lot of bright, intensive color mixed with that hard pattern, that black pattern paper there kind of has an intensive hard feel to it and I wanted to soften the page just a tiny bit so I used a small piece of floral print pattern paper underneath my son's photo. Now you can also often use flowers other than the way in which they were intended so if you look at that sunshine that you see as part of the title there it's originally a flower, but it kind of looked like a sun, so I used it in another way. Both that and the floral print still support the story, but they kind of soften the page. If you think of what the page would look like without them, it might feel a little bit harder. But the eye needs for you to have a softer page sometimes, and especially depending on the type of story you're wanting to tell, you may want the page not to be so harsh. Probably the easiest way to use flowers on a scrapbook layout featuring photos of boys is to use it in a theme that works well. And in this case, my son was outdoors. He's in a garden in a zoo. It's kind of a jungle type scene. So it was very easy for me to use a flower motif print pattern paper and to add die cuts of flowers. You could also easily use flowers on any outdoor scenes like being at the park, at a playground, if you're child's outside catching bugs, those type of things. It's very easy to slip flowers into your scrapbook pages there. So in the first layout we talked a little bit about using flowers as a motif in nature. We're sort of doing that with this layout but it's also leading into a second way in which you can add flowers to a scrapbook layout about boys. In this case you can use flowers as a seasonal symbol. In this particular event, we were at the mall and they had a Chinese New Year celebration going on and they had a lot of these beautiful flowering trees on display. So I was able to incorporate the flowers into the layout to support that sort of feel that Chinese New Year had for us with a lot of the flower blossoms throughout the decorations in the mall. On the previous layout, we talked about using flower blossoms. Now, probably to everyone, they're not going to be an obvious seasonal representational motif. But on this layout, I've used poinsettias. And if you think about poinsettias, a lot of people associate them with Christmas. So during certain holidays, it's very easy to slip in some flowers on your layout if they support a seasonal motif that accompanies your story. Often when we want to show that we care for someone, especially a guy to a girl, he will give her some flowers. So think about showing affection on your layout by giving the layout some flowers. And it doesn't have to be large. It can be just a few small tiny flowers, as I've done on this page with my son. You'll see a few very tiny flower stickers hidden within the embellishment clusters. On this particular page, I wanted to show how much I loved the relationship between my husband and my son. And this is a page about video gaming. It has a lot of bright colors. There's kind of some pixelized hard print designs in the pattern paper. I wanted to soften that up and one of the ways I did that 
was by strategically placing a few flowers on the page. Sometimes a story that you're telling doesn't have a particular embellishment that complements it well. In that case, flowers are a wonderful stand-in. You just simply need to use them in colors or textures or patterns that complement the layout you're creating. So on this particular page about my son making silly faces wearing wax lips, I used a few artistic style die cuts of flowers that supported the color and the overall feel of the page. On this particular Halloween layout, I used black flowers to soften the feel of the page just a little bit. I already had the cartoon themed embellishments and a lot of the hard stars and Halloween colors used throughout. So using just a couple strategically placed black flowers, black kind of supporting the Halloween theme, softened the page just a little bit. And I'm going to end with these last two layouts in which I sort of used flowers just because I wanted to. Just because it's a good reason to get those flowers out of your stash. All you need to do is find flowers that match the color or the texture of the page that you're working on. One of these is a dinosaur theme page and the other is a page about my son receiving mail. Neither of them are supported by a flower motif but I still love the way the flowers look on the page. And I want to also leave you with the thought that no one has ever looked at any of my pages and questioned why I put flowers on a page about boys. So get those flowers out of your stash and use them on your next layout. Hi, it's Jennifer Priest here from Hydrangea Hippo. Today I'm going to share with you how to make these really fun crepe paper flowers. So head on over to my channel to check out this tutorial.